Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Teddy Atlas seems to have an up and down relationship or how he feels about Manny Pacquiao. His opinion on Manny Pacquiao is very up and down. One minute, he accuses Manny Pacquiao of using performance enhancing drugs. Then he hollers about how corrupt boxing is when Manny Pacquiao is on the wrong side of decision versus Jeff Horn in a fight. I thought that Jeff Horn won. Well, you can't have it both ways. If you say that a dude is using performance enhancing drugs, isn't that part of corruption Corruption as well? Absolutely. Now, in case you guys don't know, Teddy Atlas came out and said, why isn't anybody looking at Manny Pacquiao? Well, the same reason why they not looking at Tyson Fury. You know why it isn't a big deal? Because Manny Pacquiao isn't black. Manny Pacquiao is considered a white substitute because, you know, in the United States, it's anybody but the brother. I told you Manny Pacquiao was the adopted white hope against Floyd Mayweather. And, you know, I heard that clown, you know, the dog rapist tried to make a counter video and say, well, what stake did white people have in root for Manny Pacquiao over Floyd Mayweather because he wasn't black? That's why. And you will take the next best thing. That's why. But at the end of the day, this Tyson Fury glove gate thing is starting to come to light. At the end of the day, Tyson Fury did something wrong. Now, the funny part about it is Teddy Atlas tried to downplay it and say, um, well, he probably did adjust the gloves, but that wouldn't have affected the outcome. Shit. You sure about that, Teddy? Seeing to me like Teddy Atlas is basically throwing Tyson Fury a bone. And then he says, well, what happened in 2015 was five years ago. Well, wait a minute. No, when it comes to black people, they go as far as kindergarten. They'll bring up something that you did. Like, because, you know, with us, there's no redemption. There's no making up mistakes. We are who we are. We make a mistake. That's our character. You know. That's what I'm saying. You know, Eminem, when he was in his uh, early 20s, made several songs talking about black people, very racist songs, calling black people the N word. But then he was forgiven. But then, you know, a black person, they make a mistake. They not forgiven. But then, you know, here's the thing. They go back as far as Nate uh, Parker's uh rape allegations that he was acquitted by an all-white jury and they bring that up when he got a movie coming out they try to demonize him but then they say eminem make a mistake you see the difference you know uh white people are capable of redeeming they self they're not judged by who they are once they do something oh well you know we need to move on but with us there's never no moving on and then when we call them out, and then when we call the mayonnaise nation out on that shit, then they try to play these games. They use these fake words like race baiting, and we need to stop making this about race. Once again, fuck y'all with a capital F. But as far as Teddy Atlas go, well, he did what I expected him to do. So that's what he's saying. So basically he's saying Tyson Fury, you know, signed up for, you know, uh, drug testing well they seem to be some discrepancies about what happened with his test you know if you got a, a nice envelope to slip somebody then who knows but at the end of the day Tyson Fury is looking real suspicious and that's typical for Teddy Atlas to downplay and say well I don't think that had an impact on the fight well, yeah, I beg to differ you know I beg to differ so basically he's saying, well, you know, he cheated, he he kind of cheated. He did what he was supposed to do, but that don't have an impact on it. That's like, OK, that's what I'm talking about. That's the, that's what you call that fake white talk. But no, Tyson Fury should not get a pass. If Tyson Fury did something that he didn't that he wasn't supposed to do, he need to be punished and he need to get his ass out of boxing. Like I said before, technically Manny Pacquiao has never failed a drug test. But like I said, it's the same thing with Barry Bonds. Barry Bonds technically never had a positive drug test show up. 
but at the end of the day, people with common sense suspect he did something. I suspect Manny Pacquiao did something. I went on record. I said several times I believe that Manny Pacquiao took performance enhancing drugs because Manny Pacquiao has been very hesitant to take random drug tests. Like I told you, I don't give a fuck about Manny Pacquiao's fans getting upset when I make these type of videos because, like I said, I don't give a fuck. This is my opinion. You motherfuckers don't like my opinion. Go take y'all motherfucking ass to somewhere else, motherfucker. I told you, I don't cater to a demographic group. I told you, I don't make videos specifically for non-blacks. And I don't sit up here and suck up the Manny Pacquiao. Like I said, if you want to watch those videos, all uh, those videos where people praise Manny Pacquiao, then go to those channels. But keep your motherfucking ass off mines. For real. I believe he took performance enhanced drugs. And don't bring up nobody else. Stick to the subject. Yes, I believe Manny Pacquiao took performance enhancing drugs. I stand by that. Just like I believe Barry... Barry Bonds took performance enhancing drugs, but at the end of the day, everybody in Major League Baseball was doing it. And I will say this once again. Once again. You can't kill a baseball because it's not alive. OK, but you can kill a human being with an unfair advantage. So that's the that that's the difference. You know. That's a big difference. Is it right? No. But boxing, that's totally different. That's a combat sport. And like I said, it was all kind of rumors surrounding Manny Pacquiao and the drug test and stuff. Manny Pacquiao has ran from this issue, ducked and dodged this issue for years. And I think the media has given him a complete pass. Because at the end of the day, we know Manny Pacquiao is not black. He is what you call a substitute great white hope. I will once again continue to stand by that. He was the adopted great white hope. And that's why, once again, don't tell me to sit up here and sit up there and pump my fist and say, you know, USA. Mm -mm. Nah, because like I said, when Manny Pacquiao fought Floyd Mayweather, most of you non-blacks, and you white motherfuckers was rooting for Manny Pacquiao over a, over a black American. And Manny Pacquiao's had several incidents outside of boxing, infidelity issues, uh, issues with drinking and drugs. But that gets swept under the rug. But then every time a black man do something here, you motherfuckers come. So, like I said, I'm going to continue to keep, keep it real. But like I said, as far as Teddy Adley's go, he just, you know, he just being white. Sounds about white. Taking out for his, his white brethren. Don't bother me at all. This is expected. This just further adds more validity to the stuff that I say. It's uh, complexion protection for Tyson Fury. You know, at the end of the day. And like I said, uh, once again, fuck E.J. Smith. Because I just had to put that out there. That was just appalling for him to sit up there and say that dude is a coon anyway. But I'm just keeping it 100. But that's how I feel about the situation. You know, um, Teddy Atlas is entitled to his opinion. He just showing, hey, sounds about white to me. But yeah, to sit up there and say, well, give Tyson Fury a pass. Nah, Tyson Fury's pass is just a little too shady. You know, so... It's funny how this dude, one minute he hates Manny Pacquiao, but then the next minute he ho hollers about how corrupt boxing is when Manny Pacquiao is on the wrong side of the city versus Jeff Horn. So Teddy Atlas is known to show inconsistency, but the funny part about it is people don't never call Teddy Atlas a racist, you know, especially Manny Pacquiao's, uh, specifically his Filipino fans and even the, wh the white boys. That pretend to be uh, boxing fans, but really they just white supremacists. You know, nobody calls Teddy Atlas out. Nobody addr addresses Teddy Atlas and he calls him a hater and none of that shit. They just won't say nothing, period. But if I say something, then everybody got a problem. Well, like I said, if you guys got a problem with my channel, don't watch my motherfucking channel. Straight like that. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.